Focus peaking is a feature that's appeared on many recent cameras, and it can help with speed and precision when it comes to using manual focus. Although the feature has been offered in video cameras for some time, it's only in the last few years that we've seen it being offered more widely across stills cameras. Today, it's common to find it on Enthusiast Compact and many compact system cameras, and it's starting to feature among DSLRs too, being particularly popular among those using older manual focus lenses. But what exactly does it do, and how do you use it? Focus peaking is best thought of as an aid for manual focus that's particularly useful when it's difficult to assess this using the camera's display or viewfinder alone. What it does is provide you with a better idea of what is and isn't in focus by highlighting high contrast edges. To use it, switch your camera to manual focus and find the peaking option in the menu system. Depending on your camera, this may be among your other focusing options or alternatively in the more general tools and settings menu. Some cameras offer this in a basic format, where the feature is simply activated where necessary, although recent cameras have started to flesh this functionality out. These may allow you to vary the colour of the highlight so that it provides better contrast against the subject you're shooting, and some even allow you to change the peaking level, which changes the contrast threshold that you may want to adjust according to the lens you're using, the subject's contrast and your depth of field. If your camera offers this level of control, select the appropriate colour and peaking level and compose your image. As you start to turn the focusing ring on your lens, or the equivalent control on your camera, you should see a highlight forming on areas where edges are detected. At some point this will peak, with the maximum level of highlight displayed over the subject, but unless your subject is at the end of the lens's focusing range, this should gradually begin to lessen as you continue to focus, until it disappears onto a different part of the scene. For precision, you should be able to use this feature in conjunction with the magnification option, so that you can see exactly where the highlights cover the subject. Focus peaking can be useful in many scenes where you might want to use manual focus, such as scenes where autofocus systems typically struggle, perhaps natural, low contrast subjects whose details may not be very well defined. It's also useful whenever the LCD screen is difficult to view, perhaps because of its low resolution, in bright sunlight, or a combination of both, or when the viewfinder doesn't offer sufficient clarity. Many photographers with poor eyesight also view this as a useful way to improve manual focus accuracy. For more tips and advice, subscribe to our channel, visit us on Twitter, Facebook or Google+, or check out wexphotographic.com forward slash blog.